Welcome back everybody. We got our brakes assembled. Everything's put together. I got new lines on there. What I need to do now is bleed the brakes. So check it out. Bleeding brakes is pretty easy, but if, uh, if you got one of these power bleeders, it's really easy. One man job. Let me show you how it works. So you've got this main tank here, which has a handle and um, that handles a pump. You can pressurize this tank. You put the brake fluid in there and you hook it up to a hose onto your brake um, reservoir. And then you take this overflow, and we'll go to the wheel cylinder and put that on the uh, bleeder valve, pump this thing up full so that it's got, you know, maybe 10 or 15 PSI right there, which pressurizes the whole system. Go to the farthest wheel first, crack the valve, let some flow into this tank, into the overflow bottle, close the valve, and then just work your way back to the closest wheel in the front. Watch. All right, so we got about 10 PSI in the jar. You can see there's some fluid in the lines. Nothing's moving though. And we've got no leaks or anything at any of the calipers. That's important. You wanna make sure that nothing's leaking. And if it is, you wanna address it now. Next thing you do, like I said, go to the farthest wheel from the reservoir and hook up this overflow tank. And we're just gonna crack that valve. There we go, we have flow. What we're looking for is a clear stream, no bubbles, and if you're changing out old fluid, all the dark, nasty stuff is gonna run out first. And then uh, once you see the good, clean, fresh stuff, no bubbles, you can go ahead and close the valve. So I don't see any bubbles and it's looking pretty clear. So go ahead and pinch that off with the wrench. Don't have to go too tight. And then remove this and go to the next wheel. So that's what we drained out from the uh, right rear. You can tell it's, it's a little dirty, not too bad. Let's get the... Uh, left rear <clears throat> so same thing just get up and pop that little cap off if you have one hose and this tank's kind of neat it actually has a magnet in case you want to stick it to something or do something neat like that but in this case you just set it down on the floor. Get that wrench. Wrong wrench. There we go. Flow. <clears throat> no bubbles. That's a good sign. Don't expect any on the rear. I didn't do anything to this part of the system. Fluid doesn't look too bad. So I'm just purging air out. So I'm going to close it. Pinch that off. Whoop. Try not to make too much of a mess. Get that back in there like that. Clean up any uh, brake fluid and put the cap back on, we'll go to the front side. You get a double check, make sure you still got pressure and uh, you can't see it, but still got brake fluid in the reservoir. Let's see, yeah, still got enough. Okay, we're over here at the front right wheel. Loosen it. Go. 
pushing all the air out of the system now. There we go. There's some bubbles. That's what we're expecting because we changed the brake lines on this side. So let all that stuff run clear. There we go. I'm gonna stop it right here and just go check my tank. It's hard to see, I still got some in there. I might wanna add a little more before I do the last wheel. And you can see I lost a little bit of pressure because there's a bunch of air in the lines. Pumped it back up, just, uh, just make sure I have enough and let's go bleed it. So we're back at the front right. Crack it. There we go, pushing air out. Well, that looks like it's running nice now. Solid, no bubbles. I'm good with that. All right, tighten this thing up. <clears throat> and we'll move to the other wheel. Okay, this is the uh, front left wheel, which is closest to the reservoir. Still got plenty of pressure in the tank. Still got plenty of fluid. Expecting some air to come out of here. Just need to crack this last line. Oh, looks like it's a different size bleeder. Let me get a different wrench. All right, here we go. Crack the line. Pushing all that air out. Okay, hold on. Here we position here. And again. Still got fluid, still got pressure. go it's running good no bubbles here draining off into there a couple bubbles just pushed out but it's solid so tighten that thing up and that's it my brakes are bled just a little snug on here not too tight And the only thing I need to do now is uh, check the level of my reservoir. Looks like looks like I can add a little bit. So now that I know the whole system's bled, I just top this off like normal and be done. Then adding fluid to top off the reservoir is as easy as uh, well. It's as easy as basting a turkey. So I have this old turkey baster. Works pretty good for topping off fluids like this. So, probably won't take much. Just fill it up like that. No mess. Where's the cap? Here we go. Voila, done. So that's it. Motive power bleeder. A few minutes and uh, no pump in the pedal. Just do it by yourself and whatever's left in here I could still use. I think I still got some. Yeah, I can pour it back in the bottle. It's clean, so. Clean all the equipment, put it back in service. Thanks for watching.